Well guys, behind me, this is not a bubbling mud pool at the Solfatara Crater in Campi Fegri. This is Vancouver, but I can tell you something. There's a new earthquake swarm and that has been going on for over a week with a very high magnitude, 2.9. But there is a problem. While this earthquake swarm keeps coming, the earthquakes are getting deeper. And that's why the authorities are saying we should expect more earthquakes. So what's the deal with this, especially since you've seen hopefully my last two videos about the two new studies that are very, very worrying. Let's get into this. And these earthquakes are doing some damage, not only to the homes. We've seen that some ceiling did collapse when we had the 4.6 cracks in the homes and foundations. Also, um, sewers and pipes have been damaged by these earthquakes and the costs for that have quadrupled. And the mayor of Pozzuoli is sounding the alarm about that, but not only that, he's trying to make clear this Brady seismic crisis, and they still call it Brady seismic crisis, but it is a volcanic crisis, is here to stay. It is not temporary. But let's have a look at the current earthquake swarm and then we have a deeper look into what the officials are telling us about the depth of these earthquakes. So have a look at this. The last earthquake that we see on the list here is a 1.0, that's Vesuvius. And if we scroll down, I've always said it, it's like Campi Flegri, a few, and then one Vesuvius, and then Campi Flegri again, and then one Vesuvius. So Vesuvius is still rumbling in the game. But the interesting part is, if you see this here, April 14th, we've already had a 1.2, um, and then on the 13th, a 1.4, 1.5, 1 1.2, and then we're into the 12th, there was the 2.9, and another one on the 12th. And there were way more than those. I'm only showing you the larger magnitude ones. But you see on the 11th, quite a few with Zuvius in between. Then on the 10th, on the 9th, on the 8th, on the 7th. And if we go to page 2, um, there is still uh, the 5th. So there was one day break, nothing on the 6th. But then since April 7th, until April 14th for a week now, it's already rumbling again. And if we look at the epicenter, let's look at the 2.9 epicenter just for a quick moment. Of course, it is no surprise where it is. It's in Pozzuoli, where we have the Solfatara area and this whole Campi Flegri crater, the most active crater with these fumaroles. The land is still rising with two centimeters per month. And something else. I said it, they have recorded deeper earthquakes and that's why the INGV is saying expect more earthquakes. So the director of the Vesuvius Observatory, Mauro Di Vito, has addressed Pozzoli's city council regarding this Brady seismic crisis. And he says, we expect more shocks similar to those of the recent month. And it's been pretty bad in the recent month with earthquakes, higher magnitude, but also like a continuous rumbling, pretty, pretty bad. So Mauro Di Vito, He's the director and he says at the Campi Flegri supervolcano, the ground deformation has continued with the same trend since March 15th. A ground uplift of two centimeter per month is still happening. It's centered around Rione Terra in Pozzuoli with basically a bell shaped pattern that rapidly diminishes as you move away from the area with the greatest deformation. It was three centimeters for a short period of time when we had that massive earthquake swarm. The seismic activity, we've just seen it, is also ongoing, he confirms that, and consistent with the surface process of crustal deformation. Because the land is rising, of course, that crust, it's about three to four kilometers thick, is being affected by this. It's breaking. The elasticity is getting less. And we know that crust has only a third of its strength left 
when there was a crisis in the 1980s where the magma didn't make it to the top. It was only intruding horizontally, didn't cause an eruption. And now we have a way stronger crisis, a longer lasting crisis for already 20 years with that ground uplift. Crust has only a third of the stability. And then these terrifying studies keep coming. The last two confirming the magma body only at a depth of 3.9 to 4 kilometers. Whoa. And then the last study that tells us, oh, we looked at the past and we thought it takes hundreds of years until Campi Flegri gets ready for an eruption. It can only take months, months. And that's up to 60 years, depending on the temperature of the magma. But this crisis has only has already lasted for 20 years. So this is a study that's completely game changing. That's a complete game changer, guys. Really watch this video and watch it till the end. It's really worth it. And also the other, I, I put both studies in the end screen. You have to go to my channel start page to find them. I also put the link in the description of this video of both of them so that you can find them easier because this is scary, guys. You can't deny this anymore. I mean, so many scientists have been warning about this. Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo, leading position at the INGV, wants to evacuate. He says, please, at least the two kilometers around Pozzuoli. But nothing is happening. So they say some of these earthquakes that we're seeing occur slightly deeper. What does that mean? Because most of them are very shallow. That's why they're felt so intensely between zero and two kilometers. So Mauro De Vito said that during a special meeting with the Pozzuoli City Council that is just has just been held a few hours ago. And who was attending? The mayor of Pozzuoli, Luigi Manzoni, um, the head of the National Civil uh, Protection, Fabio Ciciliano, the head of Campanias, that's the region, Civil Protection, Italo Giulivo, and the government's special commissioner for public interventions at Campi Fligre, um, Fulvio Maria Socodato. So they keep meeting all the time, but they're somehow hesitant to raise the alert level. So De Vito said, we expect more tremors. We could see another terrifying swarm like we just had. And they just updated their data regarding this Brady seismic crisis, the land up, uh, uplift. Um, so they have new satellite data. They're operating 37 stations in the area that are also supplemented by tight gogs that measure the land rise. So the water in the port of Pozzuoli, there is no water anymore. It's not that the water is receding, but the land is rising. Just a few days ago, a ferry was running aground, couldn't move anymore, was stuck on the sand. The, the fisher boats can hardly get out of the port anymore. They're, they're lying on the dry. There's grass and bushes growing in the port where there's supposed to be water. This is how much this uplifts. It's nearing a meter 50. That's why the tight gogs are very important as well. So what Mauro De Vito has said in today's meeting, he says, if the crustal deformation process continues and everything looks like it's continuing, we must expect further seismicity or seismic activity. He says it's a fact. It's supported by a well-known physical process. We do not predict specific earthquakes, but we know that if the other sign, like the strong degassing in the Solfatara Pischiarelli area and in these underwater fumaroles also that are in the sea, continues, it means the process is still active at an intensity similar to recent months. And they had measured that the gas emissions are on the rise. So this seismic activity, they say, clusters into swarms. And there's also, they're always saying, well, it depends on how you define a swarm. When does it end? Or is it, I see it almost continuously. If there's one day break, that doesn't mean one swarm has ended and the next one has begun. For me, this is just a few hours difference, right? Um, 
So if they cluster into swarms, they can sometimes produce stronger events. That's what he's saying, like the magnitude 4.6 quake on March 13th, the strongest recorded ever at Campi Flegre. And also, of course, since they have such a dense and sensitive monitoring network. He is stressing there is no imminent eruption risk, but can he really say that? If you've seen the other two studies from his colleagues. And then he comments on that again. He says in our weekly bulletins and monthly bulletins that they release about the data that they have, we have specified that the current short term situation does not indicate any worsening developments. Yeah, the short term situation that's always within a few days, but that can change so quickly. So he says, and that's what his colleagues are criticizing. Basically, always this sentence, we're monitoring it, so feel safe. So he says that there is no short term situation. This assessment is based on a comprehensive multi parametric system that includes various measurement systems like the gas emissions from the ground, thermal readings, tilt meters, gravimetric data, and more. And he says our in evaluations are discussed and communicated promptly, as was the case with a recent episode of increased CO2 emissions, which we immediately flagged and continue to monitor. It is increasing. That's what's a little bit um, scary. And the sewers and the pipelines that are in this area have been damaged already by the earthquakes at Campi Flegri. As I said it, it's getting expensive. The mayor of Pozzuoli is really stressed out and is raising the alarm. And then when the mayor said that, the Vesuvius Observatory, the director Mauro De Vito, he expressed solidarity with the local institutions and the residents that are suffering from this prolonged crisis. And he says, all my colleagues at the observatory are doing excellent work and I thank them. It's not easy to live with a phenomenon like this. Well, it's a volcano. It's a super volcano. I don't know if I would call it phenomenon um, because my last study, they have looked at the past massive eruptions, the Campanian Ignimbrite, massive eruption and through rocks, and layers of rocks that are present in this area, they were able to like basically get a picture what this volcano is doing before it erupts. So it's not a phenomenon. We now know a lot more, still not enough, but it's not like, hmm. So of course he says, it's not easy, especially for my colleagues who experienced the quakes firsthand and still manage to communicate updates as quickly and accurately as possible. And they really do that. It's, it's, their observations are really, really good. What the politicians make of it in terms of raising the alert level, that's a different story. He says, I'm proud to say that the director of civil protection from Kagoshima in Japan was recently amazed by the advanced monitoring networks and analytical systems in place here during a visit to the Vesuvius Observatory, uh, thanks to an agreement with the Campania region. And yeah, I don't, I absolutely don't doubt that. It's, it's a great institution, but like, leading scientists of that institution of the INGV are saying we it's not cast in stone but we could see a larger event we could see an eruption you need to prepare and they're part of the the studies that I'm releasing but it seems like uh, they just don't want to raise the alert level they're they they're inventing more alert levels so that they can stay within yellow it's like dark yellow before you go to orange but does that really help anyone? Yeah, real estate industry, property values, tourism industry, for sure. So what they're also doing here, they try to address the Meloni government that has looked at this and, and, and uh, Georgia Meloni was there and she's aware of this, um, but they wanted to address the Brady seismic crisis and really make it clear to the government that it's not temporary, that it's here to stay, and that they need more money. 
especially since these repairs for, this, for the infrastructure have quadrupled. Because whenever they have these stronger earthquakes, they seem really to lose utilities. We've seen it in Iceland, in Grindavik, like hot water pipes breaking, sewer types breaking. And the mayor is also raising the alarm on the stability of the sewer system, for example, but also the aqueducts and the gas networks that they have at Campi Flegri. He says they're so under stress due to the earthquakes and the land rise that is caused by this Brady seismic process. So, of course, they burst. If you have a, a, a pipe lying on a ground that's lifting up, well, it's bursting. Doesn't even need an earthquake. So since the seismicity has increased significantly again, of course, the residents are afraid that this is heading towards a new intense swarm of earthquakes that they just had a few weeks ago, which then would again produce several stronger earthquakes with magnitudes greater than three. It was a constant rumbling for them for the terms of weeks. It was really, really horrible. And we could even see maybe quakes in the magnitude four range again, and the buildings are already damaged. So it's not good. And you know, Mauro De Vito just said they're observing all these like heat increase, for example, and the heat was increasing and they have just um, revealed that they kind of said, well, before we have a bigger earthquake swarm, there was an increased influx of heat that they have measured with their satellite based sensors. So is this the case right now? He hasn't said anything, right? He only said for the short term thing, they haven't discovered anything. So will they be able to give a warning or not? Well, they should, I think they should be in the warning stage already because this has been going on for seven days now. Residents of Campi Flegri are also a little bit frustrated. And of course, since with the last 4.6, they have really experienced more severe damage to their homes. And I've shown you the pictures where a floor collapsed and, and, and engineers are giving a warning. I have also made a video about this. A guy that is a structural engineer in Naples has been through the 1980s Naples earthquakes, has seen these buildings collapse. He says, these stones, there's no grout between them anymore. It's just dust. The houses lean on each other. They will crumble. And that's what we've seen with the 4.6 already. It was dusty, the stones were falling. So the residents are not really very optimistic that they will receive a warning before the next four point something earthquake is happening. And the civil protection has said, well, if we see a magnitude five, we will count the unalived people. So we will have to see how this plays out I will keep you updated, guys. Thanks for watching. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and most importantly, please check out the videos in the end screen. You should really know about these studies if you're interested in Campi Flegri. This is groundbreaking. You have to know about this. So click the end screen. If you want to support the channel, I have a buymeacoffee.com slash silky site where you can support my animals. And thanks for the supers you're sending me here. Thanks for your comments and your support overall. And if you want to become a supporting channel member, just click the join button here underneath this video or the link in the description. Everything is in the description underneath this video. I hope to see you soon, guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.